Hello everybody and welcome to a kind of late in the game DVD Friday. Today I've got just a, a really odd oldie but goodie. Uh, we have Mara Corday from uh, Tarantula as in I know Leo G. Carroll was over a barrel when Tarantula took to the hills Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, we have Fred Sears directing who was most well known for his uh work with uh westerns and occasionally with certain types of dramas typically uh, little sports melodramas you know the kid finds out the hard way that being the big cheese in sports is not as great as he thought it would be uh and courtroom dramas and that kind of thing so this picture was a, a little bit of a, a change of pace for him uh going into it all i can say is that uh he probably wasn't prepared for what his special effects team were going to provide because what we have is sort of an American kaiju featuring the worst monster this side of the dangling lobster that I described in a previous video uh, about the film Teenagers from Outer Space. It's basically a dime store version of a Jim Henson creation with ping pong ball eyes and uh, really obvious visible wires and, and controllers uh, and it's sort of a giant turkey buzzard is the best way that I can think of to describe it so it's it's pretty laughable. Uh, film also features uh, I want to say the guy's name is Fred Morrow uh, from uh, This Island Earth. Uh, and so that that's that's kind of a plus and if you haven't seen it this island earth is a fun sci-fi classic oldie uh, It's also a hilarious uh, riff movie for mystery science theater 3000 It's not one of their regular television episodes. So you have to dig a little deeper It was actually a movie that they did for the cinemas riffing the movie So look for mystery science theater 3000 the movie and this island earth is the movie they riff they had a budget to do a lot more with the bots puppet scenes in that so um, there's a lot more juice to the funny that's going on in the sketches that surround the film and they're also able to get away with being a little bit more edgy with their commentary but they still kept it in a pg range to kind of keep the film family friendly uh, anyway back to the giant claw it is very entertaining in its own bizarro way and uh, I hope you enjoy the trailer and uh, see a weird movie today. It's coming after me. Mitch. That bird is extraterrestrial. It comes from outer space. From some godforsaken antimatter galaxy millions and millions of light years from the earth atomic hydrogen weapons capable of wiping cities countries off the face of the earth are completely ineffective against this creature from the skies <laughs> Attacking the United Nations building. Bird's after us. Chasing us. How are you doing? For God's sake, hurry, man. It's catching up with us fast. Hurry. 